This is like refreshing. This is officially. Good and good. Like a white claw. Tastes like a white claw. <laughs> this is officially episode 68. I mean. <laughs> I made a mistake last time. I said 68 and it was 67. Mm-hmm. It's all right. I think we all. I'm asking for a friend podcast. Episode 68. Vague and the Poddashians. Yurt. Hey. Yeah. It's been a. Uh, I think we need like one of the little um, ceramic tables right here so we could just. <laughs> the table that goes. <laughs> that, goes that goes. It slides nah, in. Got yeah, I'm going to order under. Oh, okay. It's got a laptop. It's a laptop table, really. I seen it on, on Amazon. I was gonna order it, but yeah, new episode, new week, baby. <laughs> uh, how was y'all week? How let y'all start? My week was fantastic. I went to the pool and I got burned. <clears throat> I went to the pool and I got tanned. <laughs> I don't have no what is it melanin? Yeah. <laughs> That's that's what you did the whole week. I we gotta have some type no. of no. Like, I gotta have some type the whole of like week Indian I in me or something. I, know, I, mean, I got I, Chinese in me. <laughs> why? Cause I don't I don't tan anymore. <laughs> it's over for that tan and shit. Yeah, I mean I do tan a little bit. Even my hands is tan. I tan. I tan too. I got a nice tan. No, you're good. <clears throat> but this part white. up here and this part right here, baby. That wasn't the whole week though. But we did worked. Yeah, that's it. I'll I, be tired. I've been off work already three weeks. Must be nice. It's gonna be three. Huh? Yeah. No, I like I like working. I like I miss working. I like I'm when bored. you work. I like when I'm he works bored. too. Yeah. Why? It just keeps you like occupied. Doing, it keeps you like actually like <laughs> out of the mix of yeah. things. You what? be mixy. Oh, you just be mixy. You be a little mixy, but it's okay. You mixy. Mixy, no, 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 I'm not mixy. I'm bored. You be mixy. Nah. I'm home all day. So you be like TV. this. Do, 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 you know, do, do. oh shit. Yep, I'll be there. We both be praying like, please let Charlie go back to work. Please let Charlie go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go back to work too. I'm bored. My coworkers was calling me today and shit. Niggas fix their face. For what to go out? No. No, to work. Oh, no, so why didn't to I'm check on me? Check on oh. <laughs> my I thought it was do, they don't go out. I they, love that for them. They only do like work shit. Like act their age. Huh? Nothing. What is acting your age, bro? I'm tired of you saying that shit. <laughs> Fuck out of here. What is acting your age? That's why I said it to so offend both of y'all. I like putting my leg on the sofa, popping my cheeks. I don't do that. <laughs> no, Good. you take off your t-shirt and throw it in the fan. <laughs> the wife beat us. But you do that though. It be hot in the club. It does. After mad, after mad, after drinks. Drink, after drinking. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. I after got a bruise drink, there. So stop. After drinking and not thinking. That's hard. <sighs> yeah, when you drink, you don't think. That's and then the sipping Julio and acting the Fulio. That's how the fuck. That's how the tank tops wind up on the fan. Yeah, it be hot. You know what I'm saying? So that's a knee slapper. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, you did it, now. You OD'd. <laughs> All right, the joke died. All right, so, yeah, so, yeah, my, my coworkers, they like to do, like, yo, let's get together and go to go to a, a, a let's go to this bar and, and have some drinks. And, and them bars, they be having the games, like, yeah, board yeah, games. Yeah. That's you know? fun. That's fun. We I should like do karaoke. We should like go to a karaoke bar. I'm actually tired of the ghetto shit already. Yeah, I don't no, want to stand don't in do, a section. That shit is whack. I don't want to do that anymore. I just made a whole speech about that. I haven't been out since. I don't want to do the section you shit was, no more. Wasn't he out like two weeks ago? I just, I just want to chill and little vibe spots. The next day, I made that, I made that announcement after, after you went out. Yeah, after that, yeah. after that day, because he, he was standing in the spot in a little space and was looking at everybody and was like, "What the fuck am I doing here?" Everything I wrote is what I was doing. Yeah, that's. That's why I wrote that. I don't want to do that. And then niggas don't even dance. They just stand there. Is that <sighs> Nobody dances anymore. Everybody just shakes their eyes. This is true. Yesterday, I was talking to my man, Pay to Connect. He's like, he's like, what's up, man? What's up with you? I'm like, I've been in the crib and all that. He's like, I see that. You all right? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I yeah, explained right. everything to him. And he's like, you're <clears throat> right. I'm like, oh, you in the crib smoking? He's like, yeah, I'm about to go to Shaking Crab Taco Tuesdays. I'm like, bro. 
<laughs> I, you just made me waste my breath. I just explained all of this to him. For him to be he doing. He agreed with me. He's like, you right. I said, what but you about shaking, to do? Shaking we nothing. we went that we went to... Like, uh, he DJs there on what Fridays. What the was the name of it? What? That restaurant in Astoria. When the girl was dancing. Taboo. There you go. Taboo. I don't know what yeah. it's, it's like. It's a cute kind of little lounge. It's not even a lounge. It's a restaurant. It's so pretty. It's so... It's such a vibe. It's kind of like... It gives like... <clears throat> I don't know how to explain it. Because I don't want to say like date vibes. Because like you could go there with anybody. Like friends and shit. Like we could go there. It would be a nice like date. Like a first date yeah, type of shit spot. The lights, the lights, the lights are, lights so are really dim. dim. And then they have like things happening. It's, it's dope. Yeah, like they, the girl comes in. The best part about this spot. The hookah is $20. And they, f- and they continuously fill. They fill the hookah for free, for mm-hmm. free, and they they take your coals and put new coals. And put new coals. What day y'all went on? No, they do it every day. They, they have yeah, they have day. it on the menu. They have <laughs> a, a platinum hookah and a premium hookah. Twenty five and twenty dollars. But the platinum comes with the fruit. No, the I don't it's know just the different fuck. flavors. Yeah, and I it's think stupid. um, I don't know. It's just different. But that twenty dollars is sounding like a love sixty six. The twenty dollars we had blue mist and. And then we had we changed it. We had regular mint for twenty. For twenty. Mm-hmm. So maybe the love shit was is the. It's platinum. probably the, yeah. the more. It is there. Yeah. It's there. I think the flavored ones are the twenty five dollars. Yeah, they give you a whole like. List. I don't like the flavored shit. You like I scan something mint. and they have like a hookah menu. It's dope. It's cute, but the is the, the hookahs are like tall, but. Bro, when you pull on the hookah, it's so smooth. You don't like, even feel like you I haven't had a hookah like that, and I don't even know how long. It's so dope. This one is good. No, I, this, this hookah <laughs> is always good, but I'm saying, move your cup. But, like, that hookah, like, it don't make the noise or nothing. It was a vibe. Like, I want to just do stuff like that from now on. I don't want, I don't know. That type of shit, like I said, that described what I said. That's like. Going because that turns into a lounge after a while. No, it don't. No, it's, it's it, it, a, it can. It's yeah, a re- it can. It does kind of turn my, into a it's lounge. It's not like a spot. Like, but you're not getting up and dancing in the middle of the floor. No, it's a restaurant. Like, Nobody's just, dancing in the middle well, of the yeah. floor. Nowhere. <laughs> but you can't get up and dance. You can't do none of that. You can't do that nowhere. It's like it's like a place where your coworkers would go. Hell no, they wouldn't go to that. Show. Yes. Probably no, not. There was all white people there. You no, know, see, it wasn't just white people. There they was were a Arme- whole bunch they were of people. Arabic, Armenian. You, and Ma, there was a whole white crowd next to us. The crowd next to us was mixed. Yeah, there was like white, like Indian. Like it, it was, was a it whole was bunch cool. of people. People that you wouldn't even think would even want to be outside go there. My coworkers don't even smoke hookah. So they oh. could eat. They smoke and weed. Drink. Put weed in hookah. <laughs> Sprinkle I don't mind logo. going out and spending money on food. No, I prefer doing that. Yeah. Then buying three hundred dollar bottles that are seven and not in eating the, in the in the spot. <laughs> you can eat in brown sugar and buy fucking. I love I love brown, brown sugar. sugar though. They too expensive. I love brown sugar. I don't care. I I like brown sugar. It's cool. The food is good. The food is great. Yeah. But everything else is mad expensive. It's like twenty dollars for one drink, and them cups is like, I mean, I'm not trying to knock brown sugar. We're up there, it's uptown though. Everything yeah, is like everything that is there. expensive up there. Yeah, everything expensive uptown, downtown. To go downtown is expensive. It's expensive too. too. <laughs> twenty five dollars a drink. I don't that's know. why a story is winning right now. Is, yeah, a story is definitely winning. Now nah, a story is fire though. And that's and fi- the 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 atmosphere outside is so lit, right? Like it makes you just want to walk around. Just walk around. It's like Miami, the strip. But it's all one. Because everybody's outside with the hookahs outside. Yo, and they're so not lit. like rude. Steinway. Yeah, yeah it wasn't on Steinway. No, it wasn't on. Steinway. Definitely not on Steinway. Where was that? I don't you know. You know where Alpha Google, is? Google Alpha. Taboo. Yeah. <clears throat> it's like around the corner on the strip. On what Queens Boulevard? Or it's on like Steinway? you know you know where all the the fucking hookah stores are that have all the. On Steinway. I don't think it's Steinway. Steinway. I'm about to tell you right now. Alpha's on Astoria Boulevard. It's Stein- Alpha's on the Steinway and Astoria Boulevard, right there. You turn the corner, Alpha's right there. Listen, I don't know. I just know how to get there. <laughs> All right, sounds good. How was the food? The food was oh, yeah, pretty good. Oh, yeah, it is Steinway. It is Steinway. The it's the beginning really of Steinway. Good. It's 
finger foods. Yeah, it's like tacos, yeah. nachos, um, mozzarella sticks, chicken wings. They got a DJ. Yes. Yeah. It's a lounge. When you walk in, the little booth is in the corner. I'm gonna show it's you chill. it though, cause it's you, super chill. You, I know the how you're vibe. Thinking. It has like feathers on the ceiling. You got show clouds. <clears throat> I know, but it's like feathers coming. I don't know. It's dope. Bitch came out with fire and shit. Mm. Bitch started dancing with fire. She was trying to convince us to belly dance with her after we done had chicken, mozzarella sticks, tacos. She was trying to teach everybody. I was like, bitch. And come she before sure, the food she comes. She sure as hell came straight to us. I'm like, <clears throat> girl, it's not clear, but. What's it called? Taboo? Oh, yeah. What's it's the so- address? Taboo. Let's get them the address. Give them a little bit of promo. Yeah, Taboo so- Astoria. Look up Taboo Astoria. It looks cute. It, it is. is. It's, it's so a cute vibe. Cute vibe. Taboo and the story of Queens. Check it out. Check it out. So, yeah, that's what we did, and then we went home. Ah, oh, man. That There's shit. no place like home, though. I, I was really thinking. That's what made me write that post. I was like... It makes sense. It's not like back in the days where you could dance and enjoy When there's yourself. a dance floor... And people are actually on the dance floor. Yeah. That shit don't exist no more. There's sofas on the fucking dance floor. There's no dance floor. There's tables <laughs> on the dance floor. Tables, yeah. VIP dance floor over there. It's crazy. Because now when you go out, <clears throat> you can't dance with nobody. That's one. No. So now you're going out to hang out with the people you came you with. You came with, yep. That's who you're going to hang with. Y'all sitting there. Y'all drinking. Y'all listening to music. And staring at each other. I mean, when I go out, I, we always have fun. Yeah, no, of course. It's not where you're at, it's who you're who with. You're with. Um, uh, yeah, but then there's a I remember price. when I used to go out, Me I used too. to walk around, like walk around, walk through the dance floor, stop, dance, like you, actual excuse dance. Excuse me while people's dancing. Yeah. Reggae comes yeah. on, the whole dance floor is packed. Packed. That's what it was like. Or just reggae and all that. <clears throat> and it's now just... it's, it, you can't even really dance. There's no <laughs> such you, thing as dancing. First of all, you try to dance on a bitch, right? A nigga gonna come. Yo, that's my bro. That's my sis. <laughs> Chill. Like, that's true. And there's a fight. This is true. One of your mans walk off, see a girl, try to talk to her. Some nigga coming out the section. You good? <laughs> it's not even his girl. She just in the section with you. It's just like. <laughs> you good? It's just weird now, like clubs. It's like it's not like it's not like how it used to be. And no. it's just weird. And then I'm just like, it just becomes a staring contest and a bottle war. Yes. Because niggas start order getting the, gas. The most. Oh, the niggas think they're showing off. <laughs> and then the DJ's not making it any better. No. Oh, niggas over there just got five, five bottles. bottles. Yeah. Bring them out on the boat. In the car. Like, I'm just, yo, I was really reevaluating my life with a cup in my hand like this. Like, dazed, like. <laughs> just watching everything. What the fuck am I doing yep. here? I agree. What am I doing here? I was just like, nah, I can't. I'm not getting paid. I don't know. I don't want to do it. Count me out. I'd rather stay home, get a bottle. It's cheaper. For two, for two, what's a bottle? Like 200, 225, right? In the spot? Yeah. No. no. Three. One bottle? Yeah. Like 300, three, 350, three, and change, up. Yeah. Nothing is less than 300. We went to this, we, when we went out, how much we, was the bottle? 350. Yeah. And how much we, how much? <clears throat> for just to be in a section. First of all, they were trying to The charge. section that we was in. It was, it was my friend's birthday. $1,500 just to be in that section. With nothing, just fifteen hundred for the sections. No, fifteen hundred dollars with co- includes two bottles. But it was because of the section, and like it was already packed. I'm I like, was like, nigga, I am not giving nobody fifteen hundred dollars to stand in this little dumb section. It, it's just <laughs> and then mind boggling. And then the girl, like everybody she was with, was just like sitting there. So and me, she, yeah. What y'all doing? Cause I'm I'm ready to go. She up, was ready. To, she was ready to like pay but we're like it's your birthday you came with these people what's going <clears throat> they're not on? gonna pay they're not gonna chip in for your bottle mm-hmm. like what, what's going on she was even telling me she was like i'm so happy your mom came i'm like because I, I was being a mom 
like, I was I, like, no, what you putting in? All right, take out your money because this section is fifteen hundred dollars, and I'm not gonna order nothing until everybody mm-hmm. gives me money. All right, three hundred. <laughs> Her friend, too, was trying to buy, like, three bottles. And yeah. she was like, no. I was like, no, you're not it's buying not your by yourself. Fuck, fuck out of here. For $300, I could get four bottles of Don Julio. Yep. Four bottles. I could and walk out the liquor bro, store with that shit. How many bottles did we get? Two. Two bottles. It was uh, our bottles. Our bottles. And then she bought two bottles for this section. Mm-hmm. Their, their side. And she was even like, like, oh, they like, thank you. Like, um, if y'all need to refine your hookah, don't pay for it. Don't pay for it. Let I'm going to pay know. for it. All right. So you said it was 300 a bottle. Mm-hmm. So y'all bought two bottles. Mm-hmm. 600? Mm-hmm. Fools. Plus a hookah? Mm-hmm. It's 50. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 650? Mm-hmm. How much is your rent? 2,000. <laughs> <laughs> Go out three times. Rent nope. money. Not doing it. Tag me out this bitch. Nah, it just don't, it's just As not As a matter of fact, sense. I'm playing freeze tag. Tag me, please, so I can stay still. <laughs> <laughs> nah, and and, 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 and I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep, keep it a bean, too. It's, it's not even about being cheap on God. But that's just spending mad bread on God. I'm not a drug dealer. Me neither. I work for my money on God. Hey, he goes with the stupidity. <laughs> I was waiting. You know they're gonna laugh at you, right? Yo, they on, God. Love that. <laughs> nah. on God. On nah, God. On God. That's not, not on God. That's not stupid though. On God. Is it? Is it stupid or what? <laughs> yeah, it is. That's what I'm saying. It it makes no sense. And then it's like, bro, I'm a DJ. I can DJ by myself. Mm-hmm. I, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. That that day when we went, when I mm-hmm. took out with me, the DJ didn't come. Like, he didn't go to Taboo. He didn't show up. Yeah, we was asking, like, what's was up like, with the music? Yeah, because it was they was playing their, they was playing their like, music. Their, their like, type of music. Their, like, and I was like, yo, I'm about to call like, Charlie right now. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, the DJ came, like... It wasn't even it him. No, it wasn't no. Right. the One of the um, security guards, He's I like, guess, called whoever it. he knew. And he showed up. And then they started playing, like... Should we be listening to? Him? Nah, that's crazy. I'm still thinking about the 300 a bottle, 50 for the hookah. Yep. To stand there and look at other people's just. Nah, we have fun. We don't look at people. We always have fun. I don't be paying attention to nobody. I don't, I don't what's what's? Oh, you know who? What I did pay attention to. There was like three people in front of us that when they were about to walk away. <laughs> bitch, I don't know what the fuck she did. She, or she was running. She fell she in front of us. <laughs> straight into the sofa, in uh-huh. the back of the sofa. I was like, oh, shit. Then she got up and started like, <laughs> she looked at us and started dying laughing. We started Yo, dying laughing with laughing. her. I could not <laughs> stop laughing. I'm like, oh, at least she got that energy. I was like, I mean, fuck it. You better get up and start laughing. <laughs> yeah. Now, let me, let me ask y'all this question, right? What's fun? I'm having fun right now. Right. Okay, but for free. For free, yeah. Yeah. The same fun you having right now, you can have in the club with a with a price tag. I know. Around strangers. Yeah. Mad different energy in the room. I mean, but we was in a section, and, and we don't... good thing. I mean, it's good to know people. <laughs> yeah. I'm so I'd be so happy when because, you know people. Yeah, I'm not paying to get in. I'm not waiting. I'm gonna get my section, and I'm not paying fifteen hundred. <laughs> then they when we got there, they was like. The girls is good, but the but the boy gotta pay. I'm like, it's my homeboy came well, with us. Yeah. It's taboo. No. No, when we went to, it was cold. Yeah, we went to cold. Oh, okay. Cold mm-hmm. won't see me. Want to know the cold? That they will never see me again. Yeah. <laughs> because we're not like, I don't get that. Shit. Fifty dollars. Yeah. To walk in a spot, just to make a presence. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm paying you for the for my. At my, that point, it's my crazy presence because ain't a present. In the beginning, like we didn't really, we didn't want to go. No, but she kept texting me. She was like, "Y'all coming, Ray? Y'all coming, mm-hmm. Ray?" I was like, "All right, fine." And then she kind of like changed her mind a little bit. She was like, "Cause I don't think everybody's gonna show up." And then we was just like, "But we're coming." So who wants to pay fifty dollars to get in a spot? 
they, the people they that go came out. in the spot. They always go out. They go out. And they're I young. They don't have... What the fuck else are they going to do? They're not going to stay in no crib. Yeah. Their mindset is not to stay in no crib, listen to music, and no, they want to be around a bunch of different energies. I mean, it was her birthday, too. So. No, I'm not talking about her. She should go out. Yeah, she don't really go, go out. Go have fun. She don't really go out. She definitely have fun. She does. Yeah, she, she got she... lit. She lost a bag. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my, birth- my birthday falls on a Saturday this year, and I'm not doing a club unless <laughs> my birthday's up for bid. May the best promoter win. This nigga said my birthday's up for a bid. Smooth won last year. This year, whatever promoter, you you do the right thing. Do the right thing. I'll do my birthday party at your spot. But, yeah. I'm not doing that shit no more. I'd rather have like a little dinner. Go out and have a private dinner. Like, you said like taboo or some shit like that? Yeah. I, I know a, a couple of nice spots that yeah, we'll talk about later. Yeah, I want a spot there. <laughs> we could go in there for free. Yeah, obviously, because you're paying for the dinner. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Nice little spot. And not no shit there that, that, that I don't want to go to Philippe's and no shit with the name on the plate to boomerang the plate and do all that bottle girl shit. Like, I don't want to do none of that That's shit. That's fine. I'll be your bottle girl. I don't think I've ever done that. That's so like cringy. <laughs> we'll be the bottle girls. <laughs> nah, girl, people people go out to these places to to boomerang where they're at. Yeah, I know. I hate that. And then it's like I think I see that like once a day on my. Instagram. I don't want people to know where I'm at when I'm there. Right. No, you post when you leave. leave. Not yeah, even yeah. like that. Like, bro. It's just that's it's a so, thing. It's like old now. Like yeah, that's a thing. Plate, posting the plate of what it says on the plate, like bro. Remember. Motherfuckers just started going outside. Yeah. Like, COVID is when motherfuckers started going crazy. That's when it became bottle wars. All those fucking PPP loans and all that shit. <laughs> that, that, that's when all the scamming niggas went crazy. Went crazy. Before that. And where are they now? <laughs> popped. Popped. Scamming niggas was really Y'all should have really saved all y'all lit. money and invested in a the club. They're young and dumb. They don't yeah. think like that. Yeah, they just getting their money. It's like people it. you know that when y'all were young and I was getting money, niggas, they, they didn't know what the fuck to do with their money. They was no, buying they jewelry, cars, clothes, jewelry. cars. Now they look at it and they're like, damn, damn I could have done so much with that money and I don't have shit now. Now they asking me, the working person, to borrow money. <laughs> I ain't got it. Oh, yo, your job is hiring? Facts. Niggas ask me that. Or not all everybody the time. wanna be a construction worker. That's the that's the job. Construction worker or or, or a sub sub promoter. That whole promoter shit, that shit dies so much. Like, but how old can you be? How how old should you be to like call I it quits? I Promoters? Can't. Yeah. Alright. Sub promoter, call it quits, like bro. Just pack it. You're, you're not. You're not the nigga. The promoter nigga is the nigga that the door's mine. That's mine, and I'ma hire y'all. And then whoever y'all bring, yeah. I piece y'all off that. But the main door is mine. The bitch that's in the ticket booth collecting the money works for me. But to go, I got out, I, the guarantee at the club at the bar. That shit fucks up. I gotta I pay gotta that pay shit. That, yeah. But to go out all the time, because you're a promoter, like you had to, you had to want to do something better with your life. Yeah, but some promoters will pull five bands a night. That's that's cool, but are do you are you her question is what are you you doing doing after that? You're already what in your late thirties, forties. You're gonna continue to do that. So how how old are you gonna be? Some niggas fifty in the club. Some niggas don't got bills like that. Like, well, I got bills, and I don't want to be in the club all the time. I don't. I definitely don't want to be in a club all the time. Like, that shit is crazy. Constantly. Buying bottles every... Or just having, having bottles it. to say you, oh, I'm a promoter or I'm this. Yo, or don't come, don't it come was to a my movie. It was a mo- That's the line What I the said. fuck is a movie? <laughs> we stared at everybody. But then they'll put post up, don't come to my section asking for a drink. A drink. Bro, go home. Don't you have kids? <laughs> nah, it's dead ass. Yeah, it's dead ass <laughs> like that. Yo, and then you got to hit niggas up. Yo, pull it's up crazy. on Friday. You know, I'm, I'm at Taboo on Friday, bro. Pull up. 
You get bro to pull up. He like, yo, it's like nigga fifty. I gotta pay at the door, nigga. You told me to show don't, up. Don't ask to come. <laughs> don't ask for me to come get you at the door. That's oh, that's the famous line. I'm not coming to get nobody at the door. No, 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 no. Nigga, stop answering their phone. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Unless it's some bitches calling them. Them niggas will pick up yeah, real not, fast. Honestly, nowadays the people I know that are promoters. Sometimes they don't even want certain bitches to come to the yes. spot and to their section because they begging they just, bitches because yeah, they're not doing anything. Not, they just you just standing there. And they just want to drink, shaking your ass. Be like, bro, like, that do gets, you got chipping on the? Do you can you buy a hookah? Like? At least, like, at that least? just gets tiring. Like, bro, like, <laughs> no. I don't want to pass my hookah. At least buy your own hookah. Yeah, I'm not passing my hookah. Yo, that day, nope, it was three of us smoking off of that one hookah. I'm yeah, not passing my hookah to nobody else. Nah. We came together. This is all. That's that's it. Bitches want to <clears throat> be. Bitches think the the female that was behind us. She was like, "Can I no? Y'all ordered one. The one that was sitting behind me. Yeah, no. I didn't even know her. No, sorry. I only knew like two. Not girls sorry. <laughs> I only knew Kayla obviously mm-hmm. and the other girl because um I went out with them one time. But I knew Kayla because I went to school with her. No, nah, I'm good. But yeah, that shit is that should be crazy. That that we we even left with a bottle. We like we definitely left with a bottle. It was a full bottle. A full bottle. A three hundred dollar bottle. Yep. Mm-hmm. Cause we only drank one. one bottle. We didn't let nobody else. Nobody's touch the touching this bottle. There's twelve of y'all. They, y'all better all they twelve of y'all better all their bottles in like uh, an hour, less than an hour. How many bottles did they have? They I bought. They had four. two bottles, and then, and then somebody they had a. Bought, they like, bought two, two more. more. Twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, there bottles. was like, cause there was a lot. There was a lot of them. I'm not gonna lie. It was like there was two, like four, ten. Six, eight. It was like there ten was like of them. ten of them. Oh hell! And there was only three of four of us. Yep. Yeah. And there was, I think, four guys, and I think yeah. only two of the guys paid for the mm-hmm. other two bottles. It was the guy that was with her. Mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. Nah, that's crazy. See, I, 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 yo, I had a fucking a rude awakening that day. I was just thinking like. I'm not doing this no more. Nope. <laughs> nope. Bro, tell me how I went to that. Uh, we went out one time, and I went to the afties with the same people, and um, some it's cause some 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 boy that was at the spot kept telling them like, "Yo, I know what afties. We out, we out." So they was like, "You wanna go? Y'all wanna go?" I was just like, "Yeah, I'll go. Whatever." Went. He was like, all right, I'm going to get y'all in. Da, da, da. He wound up getting in the car with us, right? Taking the ride. Oh, I remember that. How we get to the afties, we walk up the stairs, and he he goes right in and, like, leaves us. That, that boy when disappeared. We, we wind up getting <laughs> in, right? We wind up getting in. Was that the same boy that kept on taking the hookah? Yeah, holding it in his hand yes. and passing it to the girls? I was like, nigga, give me back my shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't mm-hmm. even know how you got it. This was at this club? No. Oh, this was another time? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was a... Yo. Yeah, no, um, no, no. They're taking the hooks. So, no. <laughs> while, we, while we there, we inside, right? We was all dumb tight already. We was like, this nigga's mad corny. But we, we here. We not going to act like we not about to get in the spot. So, whatever. Go in. Sit down. Y'all paid to get in? Yeah. It's crunchy. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Go in. That's what I get for being thirsty and giving him the ride. It wasn't, right? it wasn't me that drove. It was the one in Queens? Huh? After he's in Queens? It was one in Queens, but I, it's not the one that you took him out. It was a different one. It goes up the stairs? Yeah, it's two of them, though, that go up oh, the okay. stairs. So, not we the sit one down. that we he went comes, to for my birthday. He comes. No, no, no. There's another mm-hmm. one off there's there's another another one. Under yeah. the train station. Mm-hmm. You make a right. That's the it one. It was that one. But, no, it wasn't that one. It was a different one. It was, like, one by, like, a hotel. But... Whatever, we go, we sit in the section, like, whatever. We're all, like, we're not going to drink no more because we, we already, like, mm-hmm. lit. Yeah. Like, we don't want to keep drinking. Y'all was in the section with the boy that got y'all there? He wound up coming. We, we wasn't worried about him no more. It was like, fuck it. Like, we chilling. Let's just get a hookah. And let's chill. Let's vibe. So, one of the boys that was there, he was like, um, y'all want a hookah? Like, I'm going to get a hookah. I want hookah. I'm like, all right. So, I was annoyed because... The boy came and kind of was like, like trying to smoke off the hookah. And I was like, why you didn't buy the hookah? You made us come here and you didn't do nothing. Like, 
but I know who he is. I don't. I don't not cool with him, but I know him because I see. We see him all mm-hmm. the time, and he was just like there, like dumb, like drunk he, and dumb. He knows all of the promoters, like he knows people in the spot. He's but a young kid. You like, only know people in the spot to get in the spot. Yeah, he's That's not. It. No, he's no one. <clears throat> but For he's you. there And the boy that got the hookah He was like bro I'm about to smack the shit out of him Bro I'm about to smack <laughs> the shit out of him I'm like yo chill 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 He's just there like Whoa Like he, he He's like he had to have no money He didn't have nothing Like nothing It was just his body He just bring his body <laughs> That he, he he felt so embarrassed That we was all bombing him That he That ass found a random girl That was mad drunk And took her to the DJ booth And s- grabbed her hookah And <laughs> <laughs> yep. I would never ever ever We all looked at him like that fucking like bozo that. That's that's some it was two boys they was by themselves they was like on this side like literally this is the sofa we were sitting at and there's two boys there they had honey so they came to Kayla mm-hmm. and he was like oh um you want a cup like I just peep what happened. Like, it's just <laughs> us, and we have this bottle. We're not going to drink the whole thing. Like, they was mad respectful, mad cool. They was like, I'm not even trying to talk to y'all, but I just seen what happened. <laughs> if y'all want to drink with us, y'all could drink with us. And we was like, damn, we don't drink honey. Like, But Kayla's friend wound up <laughs> taking a cup, and we were just like, fuck it. But I didn't drink it. I was like, nah, nah, I'm good, I'm good. But, yo, they, he, that, they, is, that peep. Is- not it anymore. And the other nigga was just standing, took the bitch. He drunk stood. Bitch he over. stood up there. He was so embarrassed that he just stood up in the By DJ the booth. Well, good. That's where he belongs. And, and the, the girl was drunk away from out y'all. her mind. Like when I say drunk out her mind, she did not know what she was doing. Mendito. He was trying to take advantage of that young girl. That nigga just wanted the hookah. That's it. Nah, he did bad. See, that's why. I, I just, I'm just done. It's niggas like that. If you're not throwing me. If I'm not getting in, if you're either going to pay me to, to come be there, right. or when I get there, I'm getting in free mm-hmm. with whoever I'm with and you're giving me a bottle. Facts. That's the only way I'll come. Well, I'll come. Cool. I'll come for free, but whoever I'm with is comped and you're giving me a free bottle. I'll do that to stand there. But. I can't break it. Am I just going to fucking, yo, let's hit this spot. Word, nah, that shit's a dub. That. that shit is a dub. Now I'm, ta- now I'm taxing everybody extra now. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and then, like I said, it just be a bunch. Like, there's no dress code to go out no more. No, but you cannot go in with shorts. Yo, no. we went out to eat, bro. They like ID at the door. I'm like, what the fuck? A taboo? No. Um, what was it? Code. No, it was Mama. Was it Mama, Mama. Mama Wanna? It was Mama Wanna. See, I got a bunch of stories. Like it was Mama I'm Wanna. Getting, I'm not getting into all my stories. <laughs> it was it was Mama Wanna. We went to eat. We ate and we was leaving. Obviously with oh, shorts. Oh, we leaving. Yeah. I guess when we came, we came early. <clears throat> so when we was walking out, they were they dress were, code. Doing yeah, dress code ID and dress code like, at the door. Uh, like you know, like and the, yo, the they girls from were from brunch to day, po- yes. to day party. The girls were like, they're going, they're coming out with shorts. They have shorts on. I was like, yeah, my shorts. We're special. Like, I had like shorts. We're like special. Like <laughs> he was like, well, you can't come in. <coughs> he was straight face. Well, you can't come in. I don't care Sorry. what they have on. They're they leaving. And Mama Juana. Yeah. No. Yeah. Mama. Yeah. yeah. See, that's an issue. I need to get it. Now, summertime, this is how I'm going outside. Yeah, they wasn't letting I guys in I can't get in like shorts. this. Bro, I'm not, yep. I'm not going 95 yep. degrees outside with jeans on. That's why we go to regular little chill spots where they know us. That's it. Charlie be wanting to go out. I did. Outside and shit. That's it. And then be and then be sitting days thinking like think contemplating his life. <laughs> Why am I here? <laughs> it's like we be telling you to come with us, but you want to go with them. You want to so be outside. Contemplating be. his life. <laughs> Yo, when I was contemplating my life with the cup in your hand, like, what the fuck am I doing here? I think with your fingers on your forehead. The last time, <laughs> no, the last time that I went out like that, out like that, I think was. Mm. It was Pay to Connect's birthday. That's it. Yeah, it was Pay to Connect's birthday. And I was just there, like, 
That was the last time we went out. Even like when that. we go we to like to strip clubs, I'm not throwing my money at these girls. Yeah, but we haven't been to a strip club in a while. I've been we'll, on that. We'll way. sit in the by the bar. That's it. Like, chill with the bartenders. I don't know. It's mostly because we know them. Yeah, That's I guess. <clears throat> nah, it's over for that strip club. Like, come on. I enjoy Fella, me some strip clubs. Th- this is a situation, right, fellas? I'm going to give y'all some game. I guess it's different for guys. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm going to give the fellas some game right now, right? All right. You might as well find one of these little bitches on the gram you think is cute and offer them some money. <laughs> You'll for be surprised For some pussy. You'll be surprised who will be like, all right, I'm telling you, fellas, and I'm giving you game because y'all young niggas, right? Y'all want to go blow the bag and press bitches and then you go home with no pussy. Nope. None. And I know y'all mentality. I was a young nigga. You trying to look good to impress some bitches. Well, back then in the club, it was easier because you could actually talk yeah, to the bitches. Yeah. You could actually see groups of bitches chilling. It was like VIP was like. The whole. It, it, it was like not really a lot of VIP sections. No. You know what I'm saying? It was it was not really a lot of VIP sections. It was like I was mostly in the VIP section though. Everybody was on. <laughs> mostly bitches used to hang out at the bar. I never hung out at the bar. No, but there was I bitches know. at the yeah, bar. Yeah, Let's yeah, say you yeah. was go get a drink at a bar. There'd be bitches chilling there with their drinks on the bar, chilling. There was no hookah. No. There was no hookah. There was no hookah. What was life with no hookah? Yeah, there was no hookah. <laughs> it was actual conversation. Like you could and go dancing. talk to a bitch. Yo, can I buy you a drink? Yeah, what you drinking? And, sip, and if sip. you lit a blunt or a cigarette, out of there. you was getting kicked out. Out of there. Out of there. Yo, <laughs> and they were flashing the the flashlights Flash and yo you packed. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, if you lit a blunt back in the day, you was packed. You was I wish packed. they did that though, because. For people who don't smoke weed, I don't want to leave a smot a spot smot spot smelling like weed, bro. Yeah, now you can smoke weed everywhere. Everywhere. Man. That just sucks. I everywhere. But back to back to the million dollars worth of game, right? So million dollars worth of game. Because <laughs> you think about it, you fellas, you go to a spot. <clears throat> you young niggas are dumb and y'all reckless because y'all don't have bills like that, right? You spending let's say eight hundred dollars, right? You spent eight hundred dollars, your outfit, this, this, and that. Went home by yourself. Just offer a bitch some money. Four hundred dollars. She might take it. You could crack her, go to sleep. You don't never gotta text the bitch again. You don't never gotta see the bitch again. Nothing. Boom. Done. Mission accomplished. What y'all think about that? I mean, if it works for them. For a young nigga, just just gonna waste money. Yeah, he could take her out. Go buy her a bottle or something. I don't know. You could do that too. Yeah. You could do that too. Take her out, but that's 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 more expenses. No, it isn't. You take a girl out. You just get no, just, like uh, not, not to a club or something. Like not to a club. He's saying like just to fuck. I know He's not <laughs> that's crazy. To, like, <laughs> to go on a date with them, like. I right, a nigga that goes on a date. You don't think he want to fuck after the date? Yeah, yeah. but I the think. way you said it was just like. You, we we trying to make people not be like that. Like, who's don't trying be. to make them not be like <laughs> that? Make them, but like, don't you? be not like that. No, nigga. <laughs> not make them, but it's like, bro, like, that's don't how the put, generation is already. It like, is like that. But don't you? put false um, advertisement behind you when all you're about is right now for the moment in the club because all you got is the money for the bottle and an Uber back home. And a, probably Uber <laughs> for her to leave your house. That's it. Or a telly. That's Sometimes it. Sometimes you gotta pay for telly because niggas be living with their mother. With their mother, you're right. So, how about just wait till you got your shit together and then do shit like that? Nobody's doing that these days. Well, then I don't know. Wait till I, you got your I, shit together, then what? I pay for the pay, then give the bitch the four hundred dollars. <laughs> Bro, like just go. All they right. young. Let them have fun until they figure out what they want to do with themselves. But why so can't that little that's why niggas go out. On the bottle. Yeah, that's why niggas go out. They like the thrill of it. They like the thrill of it and they like... And these food. girls actually like to be tricked on and then go home at, at the end of the night. <laughs> they don't want to yeah, sit on no you, dick. <laughs> nah, you don't... You never know Some girls who's are out like here that. looking for a payday. <laughs> Some girls are like that. Some girls are like both, but... That's still. what I'm saying. You got both. 
Now, if you think about it like this, right? You take a girl out to eat, right? That mentality sucks, though. Like, it's, it's the world. It's the new generation. That's the generation that's now. So it's cringe. the new generation. Yeah. So, think about it. You take a girl out, take her out to eat, drinks, right? That's like a $300 bill right there. Then after that, you're going to go to a spot, too. After dinner, I just go to the spot. Get another bottle. I'm not talking about taking nobody to a spot. I say if you got a girl and you still going out and you're not with your girl, bro, you can spend that money going out with your girl. With your girl. I'm talking yeah. to the single niggas. I know, but I'm saying if you if you got a girl. You said what you said. I agree because there's some niggas like that. But if you got a girl and you doing that same shit too... You can spend that same amount of money, or maybe less. Tell that girl put a wig on, bro. She could be somebody else. No, let her be herself. <laughs> that, be, but these niggas but these days is looking for somebody want. else. Yeah, like that's what I'm trying to say. They could have the prettiest bitch and then they and go still want to fuck on somebody, fuck else. somebody else. Somebody else go on Instagram, want to look for somebody else. Like, bro, yes, there is a bunch of pretty girls in the world, but there's also there's a, a bunch whole bunch of, of yeah, <laughs> both. <laughs> Temptation yeah. is. Fucking at its highest right now, but bro, have some self control. Well, not every nigga that goes out has a girl. She she's not I saying didn't that say like that. that. She said if the that. if no, the I niggas didn't. got a girl at home, yeah, take your girl out, spend that bread on her, or spend it on y'all. Instead of trying to go to a club, spend six hundred dollars on a bottle and some. Oh, Hookah never, and I'm shit. <laughs> I'm not doing that. That's just stupid. Especially when a nigga got and then real it's like bills. Some girls are so simple, and then it's like we could go do any. I don't care. Get a drink at a fucking bowling alley. Facts. Bowling is fun. Bowling is mad fun. <laughs> bowling is and it's but cheap too. Some people too. don't know how to ha- like do shit like that. Some people just bowling be like thirty dollars a game. Yeah. If it's just you and your girl, like $30 a game, let's just say. And get a bottle before you fucking go to, even go, before you go bowling. You have a bottle in the car. Mm-hmm. $70 right there, boom. Let's say three <laughs> games, 90 What's 70 plus 90 $160 you spent. You spent, you had a, you got a bottle of, uh, uh, of, the, of the Fulio. Acting a fulio. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Drinking and not thinking. <laughs> while you bowling. Yeah. You bowling. And then while you bowling, they be having, having food. Having fun. Mm-hmm. And you spent less than $300. And you're actually interacting. Being intimate. Being That's intimate. That's a form of intimate. yes. intimacy. Facts. You know, they say going to the gym, working out with your woman is a form of intimacy, too. Yes. <sighs> Just thoughts. That's why I wouldn't, <laughs> let my, I wouldn't let my girl get no trainer, no gym. Nigga being into it with my bitch. Get the fuck don't out of here. Don't, don't tell my bitch how to squat. Some big brolic, <laughs> some big brolic ass nigga. Not all of them. All all, not shape. all the trainers are brolic. Them niggas be solid though. No, when I was going to, to the gym. Says how to train on. My trainer was not big or solid. Who was it? Fat? <laughs> he, was, he was decent. See, that's it. If I was your he nigga, was you ain't allowed to be around that nigga. <laughs> exactly. See my point? He point? was decent. Yeah, he, he was out of shape. He was like, no, he wasn't out of shape. He was very much in shape, but he wasn't a. He wasn't head. a. Mu- yeah, he wasn't a bag of meat. <laughs> Pause. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> bag of meat is wild. Nah, he was he was chill, but nah, it wrong. wasn't. It was just you know do this. You're doing that wrong. Nah, on God though, my bitch ain't having no trainer. Here we go. I'm about to get me a trainer. But on this episode of I'm Asking for a Friend. Oh, God, no, you're not. <laughs> Fuck out of here, some big brolic nigga with, with spandex with, on. Wait, with, with your luck, it just might be a big brolic nigga. With spandex on. With, span, with Nike, spandex, with Nike, spandex, Nike spandex, Nike spandex with the short, yeah, with shorts little, covering just the Fuck package. <laughs> oh, God, she ain't getting no trainer. Yo, oh, I man, can't. I'm about to start going to the gym after work. That sounds great. You do get out at one. I do. Actually, two. Look at him. I'll go, go work out in the park on God. <laughs> that too works. <clears throat> we used to do that. Work out in the park? Mm-hmm. I could do that too, man. Let's get, let me get into some tea, though, on God. You heard about that? We could um, do it together. In the park? Yeah. yeah. What, at 7 p.m., 8 p.m.? 
No, we'll go like really, four. really early in the morning. He's not going to get up there. He'd be mad lazy. <laughs> Five o'clock in the morning? Yeah. No. Why? No, no, it'll, no. It'll, it'll get you motivated to, like, stay up, eat. When you work out, your body changes. I used to work out. So, you know. I showed you the picture of me. I was all six-packed up. So, don't think up. about it like that. Like, let's do it. Nah, I can't. I was getting there. <laughs> and then, I don't know what the fuck happened. I wasn't working out at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I, was I was working out there. like 10. I was doing like a 10 in the morning Well, session. I'll be at work. That's because you wasn't working. I was working. I had an office. I was a purchasing manager at a renovation company. So I had an office. So right what in, time? In Point. How was you going to because work I, out at 10 o'clock? Because I only, did, I only delivered like supplies to the locations on Tuesday and Thursdays. So Monday and Wednesday, Friday, I was in the office all day doing paperwork. And I was able to just leave. I could leave to the gym for two hours and come back. Come back. I had I had an office in the Bronx. Like, they had a warehouse in the Bronx. And in the warehouse, I had an office in there. That's dope. And we had all the supplies, all the tools. So if the locations needed shit, they'd be like, Tuesday, these locations need these tools. So I would pull them on Monday. Early, and I would start at 6. So I would pull them by 10 in the morning. I'm done. Packed. The truck is packed, parked for tomorrow, for the next morning. So I had all day to chill, be on the internet. On a, like Just chilling chilling doing receipts and shit like that and then like 10 11 my man will call me i meet that nigga on southern boulevard playing the fitness we work out for like an hour and a half i go back to work he go home i just hate going to the gym and like a bunch of niggas is there and thirsty me too like that's not what i'm going to the gym for the gym is like the club now you go to the gym i don't want to meet nobody i don't want to be spoken to just leave me alone no niggas sit there on their phones. I know. You gotta hit. You gotta be like, yo. I'm trying to use the machine, my G. Well, you, you done yet? You done? <laughs> Can you wipe it down, please? What's the T? The T is the girl from Philly. Oh, I have a big announcement. Besides Grind Season Radio starting tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? That's that's huge. Grind Season Radio. Hold up. Back. Every Thursday, <clears throat> 9 to 11, Eastern Standard Time, playing all the exclusives, everything. I'm back in my, my mode. Oh, but all those niggas I be seeing with the big chains and the clubs and all that, <laughs> I better see you at the pool parties with those same chains on <laughs> in the pool. <laughs> and I don't want to hear, bro, niggas don't get in the pool. Yes, y'all do. So I don't know why people have pool parties and nobody be in the pool. They chains. They chains. I'm gonna be in that pool. Yo, <laughs> watch, watch this. Look what I just ordered. He said, "Look what I just ordered." I'm on your asses now. I'm not playing. <laughs> not the little tester. <laughs> <laughs> Can you pass the hookah? <laughs> <clears throat> what the fuck is it? Arriving tomorrow. Look. I knew it. I knew it. What I just Arriving said. Arriving tomorrow. <laughs> Yo. I'm going to be at cookouts with it. I'm going to do. I'm gonna be outside with the diamond testers now. I'm bored. And I want some content. Fuck the diamond tester. The whole chain. The, the gold. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. What? Niggas got fucking green rings around their yeah, necks. Niggas and niggas with your green necks, that's gonna stop. <laughs> Yo, that's chill. gonna stop. That is gonna end. <laughs> that's gonna end this weekend. But anyway, all y'all niggas with your big chains, I, I like I wanna see you at those pool parties. Uh, you know, jeweled up and you know what I'm saying, flexed up and all that. But uh anyway. Um I think that is that would be very tacky if you don't have uh shirt on and you have all your chains on mm-hmm. and you're in the pool i'm fucking dead i think that's super tacky tell me no what, what, wait what, wait what's what's tacky just having a bunch of chains on in the pool in the pool no shirt you're just in the water with mad chains on you're supposed to have a shirt on in the pool no take like your chains take your off. chains off that's so corny not even one chain one that's chain is fine okay but, trying to, trying, but to have, trying to have the club scene in the pool is crazy with the floating <laughs> The hookah Gosh. floating in the water. The, at this point, they're gonna they're gonna create fucking floating <laughs> hookahs. <laughs> Yo, Yo. <laughs> this ain't the T with Lee. This gonna be the T with V. 
let's talk about little Dirk's 10 year old son. Did y'all hear about him? Mm-hmm. You heard he shot his stepfather? Mm-hmm. Little Dirk's. <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> this is sad. You guys the, have to pee. The, the. Of course you do. Of course somebody need to get up. <laughs> Always, yo. I can't hold it. <laughs> I can't hold it. So go pee. To pee with Lee. <laughs> don't try. Not Please to don't the open it all the way. All right. So remember, little, you opened it like that. So little Dirk's son, right? His ten-year-old son, his stepdad. Who also has kids with Dirk's baby mama. He has two kids with her. They were arguing, right? The mom and... And her man okay. were arguing. Okay. Dirk's 10-year-old son takes the gun off the nigga's hip. How? He had, son had... Them Chicago niggas just be strapped. But and how he, do you let a little 10-year-old boy take your shit out? He, mu- he must have been like arguing or arguing. His son must have saw it and he grabbed it. And he shot him. Shot him with it. He shot the Where little... Where did he get shot? Um, I think he got shot in the hip. He can't He can't go to... Wait, did he go to, like, the hospital and shit? Yeah, the guy went to the hospital. Then he made this a... This is a big deal. Then he made a whole... <laughs> he made a whole post telling Dirk, like, take your son. That little 10-year-old nigga shot this nigga. Take your son, because I'm going to fuck this kid up. <laughs> Yo, he shot him. <laughs> He said that, you know, he loves him like his own son. He said he wasn't even mad. He said he wasn't mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bro, I just got shot in the hip. I'm mad. <laughs> fuck that little nigga up. What? Yo. So, Dirks. What did the mom do? I don't know. That, that's all they reported. Oh, my God. I wish I was a fly on the wall in that house. That's all they fucking reported was. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. What would you do if that happened to you? I'd have fucked that little nigga up. Like how? What would you have done? I'd have pressed charges. Really? Yeah. He's 10, bro. It's your fault. You got a gun on your hip and you spazzing on my mom. Yeah. What would you do if your son did it or your or your son did it? I ain't being, I'm not mad at my kid. Yeah, but that ain't his kid. So fucking what? You I'm better treat my Dirk. baby like your kid. Or his mom. I'm not going to be mad at my kid. Oh, if I was Dirk? Oh, I wouldn't be mad at my kid. You was defending your mother. Fuck that nigga. You just another nigga that that here today and might not be here next Tomorrow. week. No, he has two kids with the girl too. The guy. That, okay. Yeah. How his siblings feel? You shot know. my daddy. I don't know. I didn't. I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> I seen that shit daddy. and I was like, bro. Did he really get shot? Is he? Did you die? Oh come on. We're not gonna like stop. <laughs> did you die? Bro? Did you die? But did you die? <laughs> You all right. You, you got another right. hip. Yeah. You be all right. Well, you know, I hope everything works out with that family. I'm going to move forward. Did y'all see the uh, Shakur Stevenson fight? No. no. I wasn't very interested. Me either. All right, the Shakur Stevenson kid, right? He's from Jersey. He's a champion. They said that, you know, he he <coughs> he's a good fighter. i never seen no fights from him, ever. But I never even heard of him. Shakur Stevenson. I heard of him probably like... Maybe a month and a half ago, because he called out Tank. He said he wanted to fight Tank. So people were like, oh, the kid from Jersey, whatever. So I looked at, first thing I do, I looked I at his, I looked at his uh, sparring. I said, looked at his sparring match with Devin Haney. Devin Haney's the one that Ryan Garcia fought. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I looked at his sparring match with Devin Haney. And I'm not going to lie, he was, they was in Mayweather's gym, and he was whipping he was whipping on Haney. I'm like, oh, all right, this kid's exciting. Then the first thing I do about a box, I look at their highlights on YouTube. I looked at his highlights, but the highlights, they don't show the whole fight. They only show the, the parts, good parts where you're getting busy. The good parts. So mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, this nigga's getting busy. All right, he wants to fight Tank. I don't know. I watched this nigga's fight. They, people, people, he was fighting in his hometown in um, Newark, New Jersey. People were leaving. No. Ninth and tenth round, people were walking out. Groups walking out. They said he's the most boring fighter Nah. Out. I'm dead. How how are you boring though? Cause he says that his new thing is he says he's on his Mayweather shit. He's fighting to win. But you can't pack seats if you're not being exciting and explosive like Tank. 
Yeah. Tank doing backflips. I was about Tank to say, nigga, you better niggas. fall. <laughs> that nigga, you see, was so boring, right? You saw it? Yeah. The whole entire Did thing. Did you want to, like, I was like, walk one, out? I was, yeah. <laughs> but I, I was just like, you know, I was comfortable. I was in the AC under the covers. Like, I had the TV connected in mm-hmm, the room. Mm-hmm. I was like, this guy gonna, I'm like, all right, he's going to knock him out this round. I know. Nothing. nothing. Damn. Nothing. He didn't even knock him down. Disappointing. Yeah, so that happened. And I love me some boxing. Cameron and Mace, they did a video. It was falling asleep. They did like 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 if I set up a camera up there, and I put and I put the thing that we watching, and then they edited it like in five minutes. I was like, all right, everybody's laying down. Sleep. <laughs> and then Cameron was sleeping on the floor, like they was violating him. He got mad, and he was like, Now he want to fight Cam and Mace. <laughs> he said, he said, y'all better strap up. He said, strap up. Strap up is a term for like I guess boxing, a boxing <clears throat> term. I don't know, mm-hmm. but Cameron and them and Mace went to their podcast. They got like one of the biggest. Yes, podcasts, yes, yes. And they went off on this nigga. They said, first of all, you 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 broke. You only made a million dollars <laughs> off that fight. He's like, I just <clears throat> gave my my audio engineer nigga twenty five thousand because we was bored and we ain't have nothing to do. Am I lying? He said, give somebody in your crew twenty five thousand dollars today. Nah. He said, now you talking about strap up. Nigga, this like you mixing boxing with the streets, nigga. You never yeah, want niggas crazy. like us, nigga. You know who no. we are, <laughs> nigga. What? Cameron and, Bar- and Mace was like, y'all don't want to play show the ATM receipts. Y'all don't want to play show the cash apps. Do y'all want to go bank account for bank account? They was wilding. Nigga was talking about that. These Cam and Mace, these niggas ain't legends. These niggas ain't washed <clears throat> up rappers and all nah, that. They definitely legends. Stop Cam it. said it. He said first of all, his feelings was hurt. He said, for, he said, first of all, I could tell for niggas, you because the nigga was like, I never heard of y'all. He said, for niggas, you, you never heard of. You know a lot about me and Mace. Facts. Right. He was like, did you know that Mace, when he came out, he was like Michael Jackson? <laughs> Mace was that nigga. He was. He said, Mace came out, sold 10 million records and, and quit rap. Yeah. sure. He's not a legend. Did. Sure. The He's like, yo, did. you a bum and you broke. It was wilding on him. Wilding on him. And they was like, don't ever talk no street shit with us. No comeback so yet. Cameron was like, nigga, I smacked the shit out you. You can't be talking about you'll knock me out. You can't even knock out a nigga that's 135 pounds. <laughs> Yo, Cameron. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. Yo. Hold up, shall I pull up the audio? <laughs> Let me find the audio. I seen, I seen clips of Cam. He's, he's you seen those clips? comical. No. No. But he's comical when he's like talking his shit. Nah, but he was, this time he was dead ass. Even when he's dead ass, he's still comedy, bro. <laughs> Hold up. Where is it at? Is it this right here? <clears throat> requested a trip. Oh, this isn't it. Oh, this ain't it. Damn, where's camp shit? This, is right. this nigga's <laughs> always looking for clips, bro. Nah, I can't. Damn. <clears throat> I didn't save the clip. Well, this is a clip of him right here sleeping. That's just that's just a little clip. <laughs> so this is this this is when they're actually filming. They they they, they dress was, up like that this. Was like, yeah, cause they got, cause they got a sports show. They got they got like a lit sports show. So fucking hold on. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. So they dress up in suits and shit. Hold on. Nah, I want I want to play this. Last Friday, I was told to. The memo at work was dress up Friday. I missed the memo. You came in scrubs. I came in spandex. <laughs> Weirdo. I got I got the clip. I got the clip here. Well, well, Yvette and Jazz were all dressed up. I was like, should I put my scrubs on? It's the clip. They had shoes on and shit. I was like, damn. We make more money than you, nigga. We sit here and make more money than you. I know you don't want to play the cash app. Open your bank account. I know you don't want to. And see how much niggas got in the account. <laughs> you made two million dollars. 
I know you don't want no ATM, no ATM battle, nigga. Yeah, nigga, nigga don't want to, but nigga, we make more money than you, nigga. You talking about, oh, they podcast. Nigga, of course we getting chicken. We make more money than you. You better come when you want a job. We might you, got a you job want a for job? you, nigga. <laughs> Yo, Nick, did we throw you 25,000 bonus for nothing other day? Throw it on Nick. For Just for nothing. Throw it on Nick in the, in the control room. In the control room, put the camera on him. Throw the camera on him real quick. Nick, nah, what, what we do? Like yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for nothing. Yeah, for nothing. Just... We have nothing else to do. <laughs> we was bored that day. <laughs> I said you ain't deserving it. Can I be Nick in the control room? <laughs> we threw him something because we say, yo, Nick been, no, Nick been working his ass. So we threw him that. You ever threw somebody in your camp 25000 because you ain't have nothing else to do that day, nigga? Get the fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> I try to take it easy on you, nigga. I try to take it easy. I'm fucking dead. Nah, all Mace is doing is laughing. Mace got that inst- <laughs> He got that instigating laugh. Yeah. Like he's gonna instigate. He laugh how he talk. Slow. Yeah, he be like <laughs> Slow. Nah, that nigga Mace. Hold up. Nah, I used to love them. I love you know that. I love their show, their Yo. podcast. This shit is funny. They curse, they say nigga. Can be bringing, he brings strippers up there. <laughs> One time it was early, he was throwing, he had his niggas in there from Harlem, he throwing strippers. Mace walked in. I think it's like a skit they be doing. Mace is like, come on, killer. Mace <laughs> walks out because they, they studios in the casino in mm-hmm. Vegas, I think. I think it's in Vegas. They they got a studio in the in the casino. You can see like the people walking That's by. That's dope. Mm-hmm. So, um, Cam walked out, Mace walks out. Cam said, oh shit, murder's leaving. Here, yo, take the money, y'all. You <laughs> go, see him go, go, running go, go, out go. chasing Mace. Said, come on, murder, come back. We're going to start the show. Yo, dumb niggas be having wild fun. That's yo. dope. But Shakur Stevenson, definitely, 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 definitely. A bore. Boring. <laughs> Boring. Yo. I want to talk about Ice Spice. Oh my God. What about that her? girl is losing so much what about her weight. Now? The Ozempic. Nah, it's fucking you her seen up, bro. She, first of all, Ice Spice. Dear, Where her booty dear go? Ice Spice. Where her booty go? We wanted to see your ass when it was fat. <laughs> we do not want to see that shit now. I mean, little booties matter, but Lee, you can't start with find a bunky on the shade room, and then you walking off with nothing. Like, think it said, you found it. Wait, find it. Hurry up. Aw, hello, but Like, we don't want to see your ass. We wanted to see your ass and munch when your shit was <laughs> fat and heavy. We don't want to see that shit. That shit look like a little queen's ass now. You had a Bronx <laughs> ass before. Now you got you got a, a you got a you got a queen's ass. What's Aww. a queen's ass? Like a little white girl ass. A little white girls is evolving these days. Let's just say I spice you did bad. You doing little, bad. Little booties matter, bro. No. Not when you come not when you start off heavy and then you walk off real light. She looks so skinny. And yo, her arms, they look so frail. I was skinny. Y'all loved me, right? When I was skinny. Are you are we talking about We're you? Not talking or Ice about Spice? About I'm making it about you. Cause let her be if she wanna lose weight, let her lose weight. First she wasn't all, even no. fat. Wait. Then niggas did nigga everybody, you know they jumped on those Zempic shit in all the comments. Yeah, come on. Yo, she went and posted a picture of, like a sweat mark on the on the bench. Ice spice. Oh, I seen that. Or Is you, that the one I'm looking I for? I didn't see no, it. No, I want you to look for the one that she's walking off because I want you to read the comments. Damn. Damn, walking off where? They, they was like when she was walking off. I don't see it. She was in her little video with her little bathing with suit. With the right? fireworks going in the back? No. Oh, no, she walked off. You didn't see her ass? She had a little pink bathing suit on, right? I think this was like she looked like unseasoned chicken. <laughs> <laughs> is it on the shave room? Yes, or it's on neighborhood talk. Let me see. Then they said that's one they said. Then they said, <laughs> is she albino? It's right here. Oh, let me see. Look at you. <laughs> Let's see. What is on neighborhood talk? No. World star. World, oh, World star. star is on World star. Read the comments. Please, please. Yo. That weight loss killed her image because lyrics, she don't got it. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Yo. Dead. Right. Yo, read more that comments. part. <laughs> Ozempic, a hell of a drug. <laughs> nah. People, they need to take that off the shelves for just anybody to po- get, bro. Look, the Ozempic um, 
Pen. Pen, yeah. Look. Nah, B, go. Ozempic Barbie. <laughs> Yo, no. keep going. Keep going. Keep going. When the cocaine fire, the body deflates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Two months of Ozempic. Damn. Yo. Nah, God, Damn, she's fucking I... with that Ozempic. I don't like this look. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, when I seen that, I said, that's not her. Looks like bacon before it's cooked. <laughs> <laughs> nah. And you're, then she looked back all confident and You're shit. losing too much weight. Put that weight back on. Yo, nah. Ice Spice look crazy. Keep going. <laughs> Yo, nah. Wait, though. They flame. That up. butt look little. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and she walked off with confidence, too, though. Confident. But you see how big her head looks? Sure, they need to catch some sun. Looking mad pale. Damn, Sheesh. she fucked up her whole image. She need to go back to the fluffy hair and the thickness. That's Orchard Beach. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yo. That had to be a Ice, cap. what did you do, girl? You need to start eating again. Still ain't for you, mama. <laughs> She looks Puerto Rican now. Nah, listen to this one. <laughs> listen to this one. Damn, they got little sister on the Ozempic too. Went from a munch to a nibble. <laughs> <laughs> she you looks like the goblin that? from Harry Potter. I'm Aww. dead. Yo. Nah. Is she what people consider a yellow bone? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> She's doing drugs. Nah, look at this one. Doesn't matter how much you season that chicken breast, it's still bland. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> On that note, Yo. they they draining the life out of her. Yo, that's, that's said, what happens, bro. They said, damn, vanilla wafer clappers. <laughs> <laughs> Ozempic got everybody on a, in a headlock. Yo. I'm going to need ice to start eating her oats again. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. And I'm shaped like a Barbie. That's it right there. Nigga said, it's so interesting how her entire body is one color. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> Someone said she looked like she got Down syndrome. Now I can never unsee it. Oh, Yo, my God. Just always look so pale and unseasoned. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. She got little Ozempic buns now. <laughs> Yo, I can't stand that wig when I see it. It looks so wide. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because now her head looks really Yo. big. Huh? Nigga said, God bless, bless you. you. God bless, bless you. you. Nigga Always. said, God bless you. Bless you. Pale skin, <clears throat> pale pink suit, and the ginger hair. Ma'am, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> she should have put a red bathing suit on. Yo. The pink just blends in with her skin tone too well. What the fuck is going on with her body? Damn, Yo. that sucks. She looks hungry, to be honest. Look, <laughs> looks like a 15-year-old now. <laughs> Nigga said, what's the point of her music? <laughs> Aww. Crazy. People need to stop doing that, though. She lost everything. She better go back to the BX and find it. Yo. It's giving Foster Farms chicken cutlets. <laughs> Yo, wild and uh, nigga said she's so pale, like the inside of a salmon. Nah, they wild. I'm li I'm looking at a whole different blog page. Y'all definitely over clap over gas the clappers before. Facts for real. Nah, why they put facts? The, nah, look at this picture they put of her. No, look, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Is giving Tyson chicken. <laughs> Yo, why are you wild? Uncooked. <laughs> nah, it's giving what, salmonella. What the, what the Fordham and Webster is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, what are you doing? I want to see the Yo. video. Yo. What song is that? I'm not going to play it. He said she <gasps> grabbed her chest oh so much she's going to give us a breast cancer. Look at her. You just see this video? Which one? It looks like she's hurting. Look at her face. 
You have to look at it. I saw that video. Look at her face when she turns around. But she turns around full full body. Look. Aye. Aye. How's her skin all one color? She didn't tan yet, nigga. She should. <laughs> she needs some sun. Nah, they said the Down syndrome shit here, too. She do look like she got Down syndrome. He said she has Down syndrome and she's one third albino. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> she, got she, got, she got vitiligo <laughs> all over her body. <laughs> it's, uh, it's giving salmonella. Stop. Not even, why, nah. <laughs> Yo, why I didn't see that video though? And look how she. Like, they said she needed tan. I don't know. Something about her screams invisible. <laughs> yeah, she's going ghost. But look at that he- head. She's going ghost. No. <laughs> That's a big head. She looks like she the Barbies. This. You take that head off. Nigga said her producer don't know how to make I'm other slap beats. You. <laughs> they said her producer don't know how to make other beats. No. Yo. Yeah, her music's getting boring. Boring. Nigga said she's boring. Nah, yo. They do. No, they smoking her. Um, she don't got you're no. You're supposed hits. to be Dominican and black. Is she really? Yeah. Where? Nah. She needs a tan tan. They do. Nah, Sorry. they wildin'. <laughs> Yo. Nah, everybody's like Are cringy. Done? Giving this nigga meat. still looking through everything. Nah, because those comments is funny as fuck. All right, well, Ice Spice is out of here. That What did we say the last episode? Well, That's it. She's... She's going yep. non-existent. And look, literally. And then she had to take off her clothes. Yeah. And now it's really, really it for her. Next, she's about to do OnlyFans. No, she's probably already got it done. Ready to drop something? Yes. All right, well, let me move forward. Um, The Essence Festival. You heard about the Essence Fe- Festival? The Essence Festival was in New Orleans. Um, Shout out to Goods. I know he was with Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne... Was in his hotel room. I think Little Wayne's about to sign Goods. He's from the Bronx, so shout out to Goods. Um, Birdman, he got mad at Little Wayne because they did like a Hot Boys reunion and all uh-huh. that. And Little Wayne first performed by himself. What song? All his songs. Okay. He was supposed to be. They, Birdman got mad because he didn't perform with Juvenile and BG like the Hot Boys <laughs> shit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Juvenile uh, performed Back That Ass Up. They, they all performed they their bling, individual bling. songs. No, they did their Hot Boys group shit. They was a group Hot Boys. Uh-huh. They did their shits, but not Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne came out on his own and performed by himself in New Can Orleans. Can you blame him? Nigga, you haven't performed with these niggas in over 15 years. They do a Hot Boys reunion and... I blame that on Essence because Essence paid him separate. Separately. Like to do his own thing. But I feel like in the city of New Orleans, in your city, you should have came out and performed with them niggas. But I'm sure it was planned that way. Yeah. It was planned that way. They thought he was going to come out and perform with them. How you know they told you? No, they said it in interviews. That's how I know. Even if they were, he was going to perform with them. Did he perform anything with them? No. Nothing at all? No. Damn. And uh, I got some. I uh, think they were dope when they were hot boys too. Yeah, the hot boy. Yeah, the hot yeah. Boy, you know, fire. And where's that clip yeah. at? Um, That's when I started like oh, loving Little Wayne. I got the audio. This is what Berman had to say about that. I swear to God on everything I love. He got all his, his girls in. Miss Gladys. I would never let my city down and be a pussy ass nigga for nobody. Pussy ass I, I nigga. Sw- I'm taking notes and I'm keeping audio. I'm wow. making sure I got it so a time like this I can bring it up. He said I'll never be a pussy ass nigga. Pussy ass nigga. <laughs> yeah, man. He got he was feeling a type Damn. of way behind that shit. Birdman. I mean, come out with something new and you could do your own little skit. Mm-hmm. You can't blame Lil Wayne for doing his own thing. No, oh, but I think that Lil Wayne... He should have Should have came out and performed with the Hot with Boys. With the Hot Boys, definitely. No, no I matter agree. if they gave him his own set, he still should have came out and did songs with them. Definitely. Like, nigga, that, that's how you took off. This is true. He if, was a little, little frail. 
Like in the beginning, Lil Wayne. Because if, if, <laughs> if, if you a Lil Wayne fan, you know Lil Wayne was a nobody. Yeah. Juvenile was the Juvenile nigga. Juvenile was was definitely that. that Juvenile guy. was the the nigga carrying y'all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm just listening to the music in my head. And y'all, y'all had <laughs> all those people from New Orleans come out yeah. expecting to see y'all together, together to do some hot boy shit and you don't perform with them? That's crazy. That's crazy. Was it done intentionally? Yes, because he had a choice to say, I'm going to go out and perform with y'all. Maybe they just paid him they, they to did. do his own shit. They did, but he still... Sh- Damn. They paid him to do I know his, it's it's just morals. And I blame that on the Essence it's Festival. Morals. Like because we we came up together. Yeah. All right, you have more music than me. Now we came up together. You could yeah. do a couple songs with the group. Like nigga, you came up under us. Yeah. Like we was the niggas first on Cash Money, Juvenile what was is, the nigga first. What is Little Wayne saying? He's saying nothing. Cuz he don't give a fuck. I don't he just I don't give a fuck neither, but I'm just saying, he's Lil Wayne. Yeah. But at the same time, y'all had sound check. You gotta go to sound check. Right, you gotta sing together, no? No, he went to sound check by he went to his sound check. But that's what I'm saying. Set. When you're doing a group thing, y'all have to like Pre- practice yeah. together. Yeah, they didn't do that. Then you should have known he wasn't gonna perform with y'all. Mm-hmm. Maybe. There's red flags through the whole thing. Not only in relationships via male and female. Relationship. Group shit. Friendship. Everything. Red flag. But he was with them at the party the next day. But no one said anything to him the next no, day. he was with Birdman and everybody. So how can he be a pussy ass nigga if he showed up to the party? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, why you ain't? Why you didn't say it then? I, no, I think when the party that they had, I think it was like a, a, a YouTube gave acknowledged cash money i think 25 years in mm-hmm. the game and i think they had like half of a trillion streams <clears throat> half of a trillion streams yeah cash money so they did youtube big big party for them and all of them was there i'm sure hopefully maybe they spoke about it behind the scenes or whatever but did that video come out before they went to the thing together that was what Birdman said at the Essence Festival, like at the at the award show. And then they all went out together the next day. Yep. <laughs> Fucking assholes. <laughs> yep. What Can't else? complain. Let's right. See. What else I got here? Oh, um, Alpo. Remember Alpo, right? Oh, drug dealer Alpo. Remember he got killed on Halloween, maybe last year or two years ago. Uh huh. Uh, the kid was acquitted. They killed him. Why? Yep. Um, I think this is this was some shit by the government. I think the government got him killed, cause Alpo was in witness protection in uh, where's Lewiston? Where is that at? Mm. Lewiston is that in New York? Don't sound like no New York shit. Mm-hmm. But they had him under. They had him in a witness protection as Abraham Rodriguez from 2016 to 2021, and he said fuck that. And he showed up to New York, Harlem. Wow. Popped out to Harlem. Yeah, I don't think it's in New York. That nigga did a doc. Because if they, he's in witness protection, they won't put him in New York. No. Look, look that shit up. But Lewis, he came back Lewis to New York because he was tired of being mm-hmm. Abraham Rodriguez. He was being Abraham Rodriguez. And <laughs> nobody was like Alpo recognizing him or whatever, whatever. And um, and from 2016, 21, they came to New York. He gave, They say he gave up his secret identity. And once you do that, Wait, I don't, what is that's it. it they they don't Lewiston. They don't have to protect you anymore because you came out. It could be a, it says it's a city in Maine or it's a city in Idaho. Probably mm, Idaho, because they they're gonna get you. Far. Yeah, yeah, far away. And if it's Lewiston, they have a Lewiston in New York, but it's Lewiston, New York. All right, how about College Street, Lewiston? Check that up because he said he was in College Street apartment. Damn, he said everything. No, I screenshot oh, okay. the, um, the article. <laughs> the article was not on Instagram or anything. It was like on the um, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the blogs. So I made sure I did that. And he was gunned down on Halloween. And uh, wow. Blah, 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 blah. And this kid just got out on Tuesday, last Tuesday. 
And I think that Fed's got something to do with that. Maine. Maine? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was in Maine. All right. So I think the Feds have something to do with that because they just let you. They just let you murder this guy, and I think it sounds like a Fed job. Of course it does. And then all of a sudden, nigga, you did two years and you out. And you out. You gotta quit it. Yeah, that don't sound official at all. Yeah, and then you're like, I'm tired of being Abraham Rodriguez. I'm tired. I'm going back to New York. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wasn't getting his attention. Alpo, I'm here. <laughs> he wasn't getting the attention that yeah, he wanted. Yeah, fuck out of here. And they fucking ended up smoking him. Damn, smoked his mm. boots. That's what you yeah, get. They shot that nigga in the head, right, right in Harlem. On uh, what street was that? That's crazy. Um, on. Um, but Lennox. why shit like that isn't on the news? What about the um? Yeah. It was a it was a news clip on Google, like you know when you go to Google. Yeah, you but hit no, news. why wasn't it on the news, like on TV? Acquitted. Cause that's an FBI move. That's a Fed. Alleged. That's an FBI move. That has has to be on God. That has to be an FBI move on God. Tie it. Of your shit. (laughs) (laughs) Pretty much. (laughs) Um. So that's what happened with that. Um. Oh shit! This is what I want to fucking go to as well. NBA legend Carl Malone. I don't know if y'all heard of him. Y'all can look him up. Carl Malone, aka the mailman, played on the Utah Jazz for years. He's in the. Um, I don't know who that is. Carl yeah, Malone, man. the mailman. He was on Team USA with Jordan, the Dream Team. Anyway, he's a legend. This nigga, when he was 22 years old, <clears throat> I think he first got in the league. He had sex with a 13 year old girl. What? And uh, allegedly. No. Facts. Oh God. He had sex with a thirteen year old girl. She came out pregnant. She came out pregnant. And he pay, he uh uh he paid like I think he paid a hundred to keep it quiet. To keep it quiet. He paid no he paid a hundred and twenty five dollars a week. A hundred and twenty five dollars a week. And this was what? back in probably the like the fuck is she doing with hundred and twenty five dollars? This was week? probably like in the eighties. Nigga, you better pay me a day. Even more than what that. the fuck? So he just took the, an hour. Uh, he just <laughs> now recently he just took a DNA test. And it's not his not baby. His kid. No, it's his son. Demetrius Bell. <laughs> he fucking plays for the Buffalo Bills. The son. The son. The baby. He's he's an NFL. A little like, baby. He's an NFL. <laughs> How old is he? Demetrius Bell is he's he's a grown man now. He's an all star in the NFL. Let's wow. See. Crazy how shit just turns out, right? Yo. Demetrius. Uh, <clears throat> He's 40. Damn. Date of birth, May 3rd, 1984. Ew. <laughs> Taurus, baby. Look, I, look, it says, people to search for. First picture that pops up, Carl wow. Malone. Damn, that means his mom is like only in her fifties. She was forty three. She's forty three. Yeah. She, yeah wow. Cheryl oh, Ford. Wow. See, I thought she was. Wow, that's crazy. So he's forty and she's forty three. That can't exist. No. Oh no no no. What no. The she hell? gotta be like I'm 50 like what? Something. <laughs> she was fourteen. He was twenty two. She's probably like. Yikes! I'm not. What? This is not making sense. Oh, he this said, is this Devin is not making Bell. sense. First of all, to be twenty three, fucking a thirteen year old, you are fucking wild. That's disgusting. But what does this little thirteen year old girl got? Besides her virginity, <laughs> that's what she got. That's it. You already took that away from her. What does she got? Hold on. She can't even play with her Barbies. <laughs> um, took that her. baby's childhood from her. She gave it to him. I guess. <laughs> she's 13. Name, she don't know no his better. She's Dev- stupid. His name is Devin Bell. She know what she's doing when she opened her legs. He's 40 years old. Maybe she was forced. Nah. His name is Devin she Bell. She was forced. She wouldn't have to have that kid. 
She's 54. Her mother wants that. Yeah, that's what I said. She's in her 50s. He's, he's, she's 54, he's 60, and the son is 40. Mm-hmm. What was the mother of her doing? Her name is Gloria Williams. Gloria. Gloria wasn't watching her kid. She wasn't watching that baby. Yeah, that's Carl Malone's son. Spreading her legs open, wide open. <laughs> wow. With the ice spice body. <laughs> Un- with the unseasoned looking chicken like a, body. Looking like a 13 year old from the Bronx. <laughs> what in the Fordham and Webster? <laughs> Damn. That one and, had it. And that is ice all. Ice spice, you doing the terrible. tea with me. Terrible, period. Yo, Carl Malone, what were you doing at 22 years old with a 13 year old? Fucking this little tragic. baby coochie. <laughs> No, let's doing. talk about that girl from Philly that the nigga called her in fucking Dollar Tree and nutted on her leg. Right. Okay. <laughs> Yo. Oh, let me look that. I'm you, curious as you to. looking that up? You mm-hmm. walked into Dollar Tree and a nigga turned around and just, uh on you. What do you do? What do you do, Lee? I'm fighting him. <laughs> what if he nutted and ran? I'm chasing him. <laughs> oh, shit. Two hours ago, the guy surrendered. Oh, you got it? Yep. Look at the video right here. Of him. Look. Nothing on her? Oh, my fucking neck. Hey, you go to hell, bitch. Oh, my God. He nothing on her. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, she's screaming, running through the streets. Bro. Bitch, clean that shit. Why you still got it on your I don't leg? Mean to you laugh. Like it burns. Yo, I don't mean to laugh. Yo. But the way she said I gotta said see it, her face. It don't, it don't can, show her face. Can you, can show. you play it again, though? It don't show her face. Yo, Yo. I, 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 you saw him running through the cars. Yo, on God, I don't mean to laugh. <laughs> but. The way she said it, like, he, he nutted, nutted on Matt my leg. Ghetto. He nutted on my leg. <laughs> Crying. Pointed to her with the camera. She's from the Bronx, <sighs> originally. Hold on, let's play it again. Look, he fucking nutted on my fucking leg. You go to hell, bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. He nutted on my leg. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> what happened? He nutted on my leg. What happened? <laughs> He nutted on my leg. <laughs> Wait, why was the camera on? <laughs> no, she must have been real out when he nutted on her leg. She probably pulled the phone no, out. No, no, bro. She chased him with the phone yeah. on. She probably wanted to get him. She probably through, had the phone on the whole time. All you gotta do is if she had an iPhone. Nah, because the, the video she got, it's like when he probably nutted on her leg. And probably, he probably standing there. She probably was taking her phone out. Bro. But she was taking her phone out. If somebody nuts on your leg, you are not thinking first, grab my phone. Maybe. No. You think this is I fake? am not. I it am chased. Be. I'm going to kill this person. I'm not thinking to grab my phone first. That's not your first thought, bro. That nigga was tight <laughs> big, though. <laughs> no, I think that's real. He surrendered. And she's recording the. But she only caught. She must have been chasing him through the store, Probably. and then pulling her phone out, and then that's look. Let me read the article right now. Gary Miles surrenders to police in connection with assault of woman at Dollar Tree in South Philly. Thirty-five-year-old suspect. Blah blah blah. Day after, public helped identifying the man they wanted in connection with an assault at a Dollar Tree. A suspect turned himself in. Um. I came here to turn myself in. I'm the guy who nutted on the girl's leg. leg. <laughs> Yo, I came to turn myself in. What happened? Nah, I nutted on Shorty's leg. <laughs> that was me. Ah, what the fuck? Nah, because y'all trying to blame somebody else. It I was me. That. I did it. I did that. I nutted on that leg. What the fuck? Them, them is my babies on that leg. <laughs> Look, they said that he's known... For doing shit to like this? frequent the Snyder Plaza and the nearby I-95 underpass where they say he may park a vehicle. On Wednesday, a video went viral appearing to show the end <coughs> of the assault. A horrific video caught the eye of Philly legend Meek Mill. Meek Mill's just, I got 2,000 whoever could find him. 
That boy just want to go back to jail. Jay-Z just got your ass off probation <laughs> after 18 years, and you still do things like this. Nah, bro. They have cameras in the Dollar Tree. I want to see the whole video. Uh, I'm dead. They, they, I don't know if they're going to show that. <laughs> I want to see the beginning of it, the middle, and the ending. <laughs> Police say sexually assaulted a woman at a South Philly Dollar Tree store has turned himself in. The attack gaining national attention, even rapper Meek Mill tweeting today that he would award $2,000 to the person who finds him. Police identified him as 35-year-old Gary Miles. His surrender happening after disturbing videos circulated on social media, appearing to show the end of the assault. It happened at the store located at Snyder Plaza on East Snyder Street on June 23rd police say a mugshot will be released once charges are officially filed so he got he they turned had to himself put Meek in. Mill in there huh of course they found him he turned himself in two hours ago let's just say so maybe by the morning time his mugshot will be out because they got to process him and do all this and I'm sure there's a bunch of news cameras out there you know all the news is out there definitely yeah <laughs> the guy who nutted on her leg <laughs> he nutted on my leg. <laughs> Boys. Yo, you seen the blur on the leg. Why nah, are you blurring nah, out the... On God, the, the one on the gram shows it. <laughs> you ain't see it? Show me. No, nah, on God, they show it on the gram. No. <laughs> well. We're not on God in today, okay? On God, you're annoying. I keep smelling fire. Am I, is that weird? No, did you check? Come on, Vanilla Way for clappers. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mad random. Uh, vanilla Way for crackers is crazy. I want to know was she thinking? Was she in her right state of mind? She thinks she looked the fuck good. With that oh hair? It was a little aguita, though. See that little aguita? <laughs> I didn't even see that Look shit. at his face. Look at him, though. That's him. Oh, no, that's him. No, that's... That's that shit bad as the OG. Bugger. Yeah, but he... So he was just chilling in the Dollar Tree, beating off. He probably saw her. Nigga saw her. Look. Nigga was like... Oh, God. Oh, yeah, she's the one. opportunity right now. Nigga was probably like this. He was probably playing pocket pool first. He had on shorts, so I'm sure he probably was in the corner, had his back. You sure? Up, got it fast. You sure he was like that? I'm thinking, what's the fastest way? I don't know. I don't know. I'm I don't telling have you. One of those. I don't I would hope there wouldn't be a fastest way. <laughs> oh my god. He's a he's a fucking creep. <laughs> and he's sick. Them niggas like rapists, that's why when they rape somebody, they don't rape them for twenty minutes. They rape them for two two minutes. They nothing mad quick because they get excited off that shit. So he probably did this before. Ew, I don't wanna. Ew. When think about that shit. Me and my sister used to hang out a lot. Somebody nutted on your leg. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> we were driving back from um. A, a Jones pool. And a, a car pulled up beside us and was staring in the car, and I just happened to look and the nigga was jerking off. Watching us. That's creepy. He was ready to nut on your leg. <laughs> he nutted on my leg. You miss hanging out with your sister? No. Like you don't miss like back in the day how y'all used to hang out? Like no. Because okay. I know who she is now. All right. All right. <laughs> on that note. Episode 68. I'm asking for a friend podcast. Grind season radio tomorrow. We lit, baby. Don't nut on nobody's leg without them wanting you to. (laughs) There you go. I was going to ask you to end it with something positive, but there you go. On guard. Repeat that again. Don't nut on nobody's leg without them wanting you to. (laughs) I'm fucking dead.